guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, I do makeup reviews, makeup tutorials, skincare, anything beauty related. I got you covered. It's a foundation that I've been reaching for ever since I got it. I have here the Mob Beauty Blurring Ceramide Cream Foundation. I got them here. I picked up two shades. I did get these at the makeup show in New York. I was there as a shopper, as a consumer. I got to meet the team. They're super, super nice, down-to-earth people. It was just an overall fun experience. So I bought two shades because I'm, my shades mix, or, or I'm like two different shades. My four is always darker than the rest of my face, and I'm happy to report that I found my exact shade matches here. And I do want to say, because you're like, oh, Anna, you got two there. Well, <laughs> I paid the pro artist discount at the event, so I, I took advantage because, you know, I basically got two for the price of one, but after trying these, I would definitely buy these again. Um, I do get an artist discount too, though. In case you guys didn't know, yes, I'm a beauty content creator, but I am also a makeup artist, so take advantage of those discounts. <laughs> yeah, so in this video, we are going to try these on. I will swatch them for you. I'll talk about them to you. I will tell you, obviously, you know, I said I have not been able to put them down. They're just very easy to use. They're very easy to use whether you are like a beginner in makeup, you're a makeup artist, whatever. These are like, you just like you pick them up and you just and like you're good and it just wears so nicely throughout the day. I'm gonna do my check-ins with you guys and you guys can see for yourselves how beautiful this wears. If that's something you're interested in, definitely keep on watching. Let's cut straight into the application. I got two shades here. Both are neutral. One is neutral 40 and one is neutral 50. I did get help shade matched at the makeup show, which was super helpful because I thought I was either gold or neutral. I wasn't sure. Turns out I'm neutral in this formula. Let's swatch these. First, I'm going to swatch N40 and then N50. And you're like, Anna, why did you buy two? I'm going to tell you why I bought two. Because the center of my face and the perimeter of my face are two different colors. Hey, that means I get to spend more money sometimes. No, um, because one is probably going to be my winter shade and one is going to be, well, not my winter shade, but like my spring shade into summer shade. These are the two colors, N40 and N50. I just want to make sure it's not blurry. Perfect. So what I like to do is I like to scoop it out. I have both of these colors here. I could mix if I want to, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to start applying it here. I find that this foundation, when you put it on, it looks really nice. And as you continue to wear it, it just starts to look nicer and like your skin. I'm going to start off with N40. You'll see this red here. It just like evens it out. The one thing that I will say is that you really need to moisturize your face if you're dry, if you're going to use this foundation, because I do find that it can sometimes cling to like if your skin is patchy. This is the N50. I'm going to just take it to my forehead. See how that like disappears into my skin. It is nearly impossible to find a shade that like totally matches like my forehead, but because it matches my forehead, it's not going to match the rest of my face yet. So I'm going to take, I just mix these two colors. So I like to apply it with my fingers first and just really warm up the product. But see what I mean? Like there's just little spots that are just a little bit dry or they clean to dry spots, but we're gonna fix that. Forgot to put moisturizer on. Let me throw on some of the Merit Great Skin. I had oils on my face, but I forgot to moisturize. I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to mix everything that I just put on on top. This is a great like skin prep for makeup. I'm gonna go back and pick up what was on my hand. And I find that this, these two products, like, oh my god, they just work so beautiful together. Look at that. Stunning. And even on my nose. Yeah, skin prep is super important with this product. I think if you're oily, I think you're going to love it. My skin is tricky because it's dry. Let's see. I mix the two colors. But look, it just sits so nice on the skin. So I go in first with my fingers and I will kind of apply it where I need the coverage the most so for me it's on my cheeks it's where I'm red 
And now I'm gonna just use my Kitco, my Flawless Face Point 22 brush, and I'm gonna just press. And like, I kid you not, it looks better as the day's going by. So right now it is 1.33. I'm gonna do more makeup on my face. Today's a film day. So you're gonna see some more color on my face. I mean, my skin looks like skin, guys. Let me get in close so you guys can see. Color match is good. I'm in that weird spot now where I have to kind of mix my shades a little bit, but color match is good. It's toned down that red that I have. On my forehead, it looks good. There's this like, it definitely has that blurring effect and almost like a little bit of like a soft filter. I like it. All right, we'll check in in a few hours. All right, it is seven o'clock. It's been five and a half hours and this is what we're looking like. Foundation still looks good. Again, it's not like a dewy dewy foundation. It's like a, like a radiant one. I think it's wearing nice so far. All right, I'm back. It's the final check-in. So it is 8.34. Hang on. I wanted to show you guys the time. 8.34. I've had it on since like 1.30. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 7 hours. I don't have my back lights on. I just have my lights on here. And let's assess. It stayed on my forehead nice, around my mouth area, it's nice. Sorry, my hair's all crazy. My cheeks are dewy because I have on the um, Hyaluronic Highlighting Balm, so that stayed on nice. I've had this on for a couple of hours and it stays put really nice. Um, not that you guys were looking for a wear test on that, but I've had it on for like six hours and it hasn't budged. Um, so yeah, the foundation, I feel like it just wears nicer or not nicer. It just like, it gets better the longer you wear it on your face. Um, I got a little bit shiny on my T-zone, but nothing too crazy. Like I'm okay with this. I could live with this. I think it gives me a nice, like healthy glow. I don't see any separations. I think it looks good. This is seven hours. I could probably go for more time, but I'm kind of tired. I'm sure you guys can see that I'm tired now. <laughs> I was like laying down and kind of like dozing off, but I wanted to give you guys like that full review. A little bit goes a long way with this. Again, I mix colors. If you have like, you know, you're not in between colors like I am, I'm like slowly going into winter, um, winter, oh God, summer colors. So that's why I'm mixing too. But I think this looks really nice. I like, I freaking love it. And again, this is the Hyaluronic Highlighting Balm, the foundation, very like minimalist today. I like it a lot. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. I can't wait to hear from you guys and I'll see you in the next one.